Hi everyone and welcome back. Now I think there is one thing to which every teacher loves and that is to give the assignments to the students. I hope you will agree with me. Now there is question can we give the assignment to our students in the Google Classroom? Can we evaluate the assignments submitted by the students in the Google Classroom? So the answer to this question is yes. Definitely you can create and you can evaluate the assignment within the Google Classroom itself. So let us see what is the process of creation of assignment here in the Google Classroom. So first of all, click on create and here you will see the assignment. Click on this, give the suitable title for your assignment. For me, it is assignment one. In the instruction box, you can give the instructions for your assignment that what exactly you want from the student to be submitted. Now what I want here that students should select one company and they should trace out their one BTL activity and they should prepare the report up to 5 to 6 pages. Now this instruction will go to the students when I will assign. Now other than this, if you want to supplement your assignment with any of the material that you want that your student should read it, then you can add that material from these options. We have already talked about these options and I hope you are aware about that how to work with these options. Now once your assignment is ready, now look at this part. This part is very important from the student's point of view. Here you can give the points. If you want, you can change these points as well. But if you want to make it ungraded assignment, then you can just click on unmarked. So in this case, this particular assignment will carry no VTs in their final assessment. Now this is what where you can set the submission date. Now be careful, whatever date you will submit here, after that students won't be able to submit the assignment for your subject. So you can set a date from here, let me select from here, any date you can set for the submission. But you can also keep it any no date. So in this case it will be open forever and student can submit your assignment at any point of time. But it is always better to set a specific date as well as time though it is optional. Now this one, under which topic you want to give the assignment. If it is very general assignment, doesn't pertain to very specific topic, then you can select the no topic. But if it is specific to a particular topic, then you can select the topics from the given list here. In my case, I want to give this assignment for the topic sec. So we have prepared our assignment and we are ready to give it to the students. Now you can see something here which is the rubric. This is very important feature that Google has recently launched in the Google Classroom. It requires a detailed discussion so I will talk about this rubric in the next video. But now is our assignment visible to the students? No, as of now it is just saved in our system but not visible to the student. When you make this assignment to be visible to the student, just you have to select this option assign. And similarly, if you want to schedule it for the future, you can use the schedule option from here. But I want immediate that it should be visible to the students, so let me click on the assign button here. You can see my assignment is visible under the topic 2 that I have just created. And here you can see handed in and assigned. It simply means that how many students have submitted the assignment or not. You can check it from time to time. At any time you want to view the assignment, click on this one and you will go back to your assignment. So in the next video, I will talk about rubrics, which is again I will say very important feature of the Google Classroom. So just be tuned in. Thank you so much.